Sleep of Archibald Landman. If any man to have sleepless care oppressed, or many a night had risen and addressed his hand to make him out of joy and moon, an image of sweet sleep and craven stone, light touch by touch and very moments planned, he would have wrought her with a patient hand, not like a brother deaf, with massive limb and dreamless bro, unstartled, changeless, dim, but very fair, more fitful and afraid, more sweet and slight than any mortal maid. Her hair he would have craved the mental smooth, down to attend her feet the ribbon soof with fevers in, a barb turned bare, with many hidden sting of restless care, a brow most quiet, thick with opiate rest, yet watchful lined as if some hovering guest of noises doubt were bare. So to her eyes his light hand would have carved in cunning wise, brought of a languor of a drowsy self. Most beautiful, but it is cans, her mouth more soft and round than any rose half spread, yet ever twisted of some nervous dread. He would have made her one marble foot, frill as a snow white feather, forward put, being sweet medicine to all distress, smooth for languor and unstrung forgetfulness. The other held a little bag for dread, one slender moon pale hand held forth to shed a soft slumber dripping from its pearly tip into white eyes. The other on her lip, son of the watchers of a sleepless care, the cunning artist would have wrought a fair, shy goddess, at keen seeking most afraid, yet often coming, when we least have prayed.